Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk about the Galactic Star Cruiser because somebody has to. No, everybody's talking about it because Disney's in panic mode, I think. And so they're like, hurry, hurry, make sure you do some positive stories about the Star Cruiser. Well, I was going to say, somebody has to, so they sell more trips. Right, uh, but... So lots of people are talking about it now. But not all the stories are positive ones. They're not. So we're going to talk about this. It does seem like the... Um, the panic is setting in, and I think there are a lot of reasons for that. Disney right now dealing with a lot of uh, blowback in Florida, mm -hmm. so some people might be canceling trips altogether. The cost is too high and inflation's increasing. Inflation and Disney's stock is dropping off a cliff, and people are burnt out on Disney Star Wars. Lots of things going on here, right. but this thing is not doing as well as they had hoped, and it's showing. You mean, you mean face painting isn't going to save it? No. <laughs> no, you gotta be kidding, clearly. No. Face painting should save it all, you know? So we're gonna talk about this. Uh, this is one of the, the biggest uh, uh, chill articles I've ever seen. This is a, a complete advertorial in The Insider, uh, insider.com, talking about how it's worth the $6,000 plus dollars they spent because memories. And it's funny um, to me memories. because I'm on a couple of these Disney boards we've mentioned on Facebook and one of them is people that, you know, usually they lean more fair, but they like, you know, pixie dusters for the win. And they're even like, no. And I have some of their comments and they're glorious. Yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about that. We're gonna talk about some of the um, some of the negativity coming out, a lot of it coming Inside from- Inside the Magic's negative? Inside the Magic, uh, we, almost we daily. Got kicked out, we got kicked over board for being negative and they ran Inside the Magic and they're negative? Inside the Magic, which used to be the most magical blog out there, has has turned on Disney. So we'll talk about a couple wonder of articles. If their travel partner likes that. Yeah, I wonder if their travel partner likes that. I, we'll we'll talk about a couple of uh, negative articles that they they put up about the Galactic Star Cruiser. We're talking like one a day. It probably gets hit. Well, that's what I'm saying. Galactic Star Cruiser, Johnny Depp, Gina Carano. They try yeah. to find any way they can to shove those in there yep. to try to get hits. I've noticed that. Yep. So uh, lots of other people saying, hey, it's a fun LARPing experience if you can afford it. But let's talk mostly about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Over 266,000 subs. Oh, really? Yeah, we're, yeah, we've been over. We're actually halfway to 260. Oh, I didn't even notice because you know what? I was gone a lot. You were. I was busy. Daughter had standardized testing. I had to, I had to be gone. And then you went shopping with the family. I did go shopping. It was yeah. nice. I got to shop while she had standardized testing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, people noticed that you were gone. They're like, man, no geeky, no watch. No watchy. Oh, for real? Yeah, a couple of people. No geeky, Aww. no watchy. So I have to tell them up front. No geeky, no watchy. No geeky, no watchy. So I had to tell them up front that you weren't in the videos. And they're like, well, that's it. I'm I'm tuning out, clownfish. I'm here now. You're only half the circus. I want the whole thing. <laughs> That's right. I want the sideshow and all of it. Anyway. Wait, wait, I'm, the, I mean, I'm not the sideshow. I'm the main attraction. You are the sideshow. I'm the barker. I'm the carny barker. That's right. Anyway, anyway, uh, I'm the bearded woman. Okay. Don't judge me. I won't. And use my proper pronouns, please. Anyway, so my family of three spent $6,500. $6,550. Plus tips, plus, I'm sure, for a two-night stay on Disney's Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser for people with entirely too much money. And it was so worth it. Right. And it's an insider who got access to the, uh, you know, media access to the Galactic Star Cruiser. Yeah. Now, this is written by Katie Sullivan. And Katie Sullivan, you said this is her first and only article on I, this blog. I was looking. And when you look up her name, like, the only thing that comes up is this, this article. So and I was looking at other writing blogs. The only thing they had her down. I must say, I mean, she might have other articles, but I was only finding this one. Yeah. So it's kind of curious that Katie Sullivan seemingly came out of left left field, uh, not 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 quite as far left as as the new activist they hired to to run Disney's PR. Yeah, right. Uh, who came right from the White House, but she came out of left field to tell everybody how worth it it was to do the Galactic Star Cruiser, uh, as even some of their preferred uh preferred blogs are are turning mm -hmm. on them so Great damage control no one's booking trips real quick before we do that let's talk about let's talk about that um let me show you um if you really want to go to the galactic star cruiser you can go tomorrow uh at the end of may june's still booked up july is getting booked up which we figured um then you come into august and so on 
August has some more dates that are gone. September actually has some now. October has one weekend that's gone now. November is still blacked out. It's been the whole way. And December. So, but it's not filling up at in the speed that they, they expected it. They figured they slapped Star Wars on it. It was going to be booked up for, you know, a year or two. It's not the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. It doesn't. It's, it yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with, you know, actual Star Wars. I, I'm I'm sorry, uh, classic Star Wars. Uh, yeah. True Star Wars. <laughs> True Star Wars. So these are the bullet points. My family and I went on a two-night voyage on Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser. It's less than two nights, but good. I mean, two nights technically. Less than technically. Two day, te less than two days. The experience cost us about $6,500, came with VIP perks, gourmet meals, and a cool room. Mm-hmm. A cool room. We love doing the missions and exploring the ship, and we consider going back if they gave us another free trip. Well, I'm I don't sure. think there was a free. They spent sixty. Oh, it was more than that. Six thousand five hundred fifty-nine dollars and eighteen cents, including trip insurance. So anyway, um, this this reads like a brochure. This this reads like an advertorial. Um, the Star Cruiser Hotel is Disney World's new immersive experience that might be best described as a combination of hotel, dinner theater, choose your own adventure, and escape room. It's LARPing. Although it's not necessary, you'll get more out of it if you choose to play along as part of the story. We're going to talk about it in a minute. <laughs> we'll talk, you can play along. <laughs> but only in certain ways. Only in certain ways. Only in Disney-approved ways. This is like when I was on the media list, they would let you talk to people from Disney, but they would give you a list of questions you were allowed to ask them. Right, because they were they were already pre-programmed with the responses. They literally programmed these people yes. to answer these questions in a certain way. Real-life animatronics. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, uh, here's what our two-night voyage was like and why we do it again. Our adventure began a little before 1 p.m. on the first day. Guests were encouraged to dress up in their galactic best during the experience. And my family wore Star Wars-inspired outfits. They got their magic bands. Oh, they got and their they magic are bands. The special ones. This yeah. is all uh, like a step by step. We logged into our data pads with our magic bands. Okay, hooray! And they took our luggage. They put. They, put, they took our luggage and delivered it to our room. Like that's worthy of inclusion, apparently. You can do that at like the freaking Holiday Inn. From there on, we were taken to a launch pod. A bus, it, a no, truck. Oh, it's no, no, not no, even. No, 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 no. This is the elevator. Oh, this is the elevator. Is the launch pod? It's okay. that, that that you're in that room, which <laughs> makes it look like there's screens, like you're going into space, but you're actually going nowhere. Okay. That thing. <laughs> that is. That's NASA. You think you're going somewhere, but you're not going. You're, you think you're going to space, um, but you're going nowhere. That's NASA. It's like the little room they shove you okay. in here. See with the screens. It yeah. looks like you're going up the space. Okay, so I because I'm not dumb enough to spend sixty five hundred dollars on this. So, so here's I, the atrium. That they opened up into, and there's it doesn't a bridge. Even, it doesn't even look like Star Wars. It looks like Star Trek. I'm sorry. It looks like Star Trek. It does. It, it's not Star Wars. This is not a Star Wars bridge. That's not a Star Wars atrium. They're like, oh, it's been refitted, and it's all shiny and new. And I'm like, that's the problem. Yeah, it's Star like, Wars. Yeah. Um, as we checked out the Sublight Lounge, which had a bar and tables and with digital sabak, a kind of mix between blackjack and poker. They serve Star Wars themed drinks and small bites that with for a lot of money. So I'm sure you paid more than you said che if you bought the booze. Cheese and flatbread. You get cheese yeah. and you get space free, cheese. Free cheese and space cheese. Space cheese. <laughs> what are that this isn't from? just cheese. This is okay. space cheese. So for their six thousand dollars, they got the basic room. This is the basic room. Oh my god, that looks like the poor people so rooms like we on the cruise ship. We got a VIP, you know, and I'm like, no, no, this was the starting price rooms. This is the forty eight hundred to six thousand dollars starter rooms. So where'd the five fifty come from? The other five hundred fifty, but that does matter. The, the price, yeah, probably the price does depend upon when you go. Yes, taxes is not included in that price. So for all her talk, they got the basic room, which was yeah. one you can barely move around in. They got the queen bed with the bunks. That, can't get busy in that room. This is this is the uh well no. you can't you can't have space sex in that room. Well, not when your kids are in the bunks next to you. Use the force. I'm um, just saying, I mean I use the force you more. Get, well, you can't get busy in most of the hotel rooms unless you have a suite, but still. Force choke me. Force choke me. Anyway. If you're in that dark side, yeah. that dark side space sex. Hey, okay, that's how some people die. Um that they're talking about the digital, you know, assistant that wasn't working with they had the when they had the previews or whatever. Yeah. And oh my god, how long does this go on? It's a blow. Look, you can become a DoorDash driver. Oh, okay, cool. 
the, you can save up. You can save up months and months and months of, of door dashing to to ride the spaceship. I'm sure the little kid's very excited. I mean, I'm sure he is. I would have been excited as a child because I wouldn't have known any better. Um, so. you, you know what would be funny huh. is if you can actually take a, a trip on uh, a Virgin Galactic. I don't know what they're going to charge yet or SpaceX or whatever for cheaper than going on the Galactic Star Cruiser. I don't think it's going to be cheaper. Not for a while. But that would be cool if it was, wouldn't it? it? Would like be. you can you can go to a fake spaceship hotel in Disney or you can actually actually go into outer space. So people mentioned that in the comments about like the cruise ships. Like I could go on two or three cruises for the price of this. You and could. Yeah. So they're talking about the dining room. They're talking about, oh, they have familiar foods with unique names like macro chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese, which is dip tip yip chicken and noodle cheese. Dip tip yip? That dip, that tip, yip. Well, they have tip yip at Galaxy's Edge, which is like chicken. That sounds like so this is dip chip dip tip yip, which is Chicken nuggets. Dip must be the breaded. Okay, compared to cheese. dip tip yub nub, which is having sex with an Ewok <laughs> in your very small hotel <laughs> why room. Do you, why do you have to go there? That's extra. That's like a thousand dollars. And I still love how there's unlimited blue and green milk. And I'm thinking, why is that a perk? That's like torture. That's like you're paying to torture yourselves. That stuff's nasty. Speaking of which, I'm looking at the food and it looks like nasty ass cafeteria This food. is their mac and cheese. Look how runny that is. Oh God, no. That looks cute. I think that's cute. There's a cucumber salad. Is that a hot dog? That's a space hot dog. That's that, a space that's, wiener. That's what happens to Ewoks after they have <laughs> But just the tip because they're small. <laughs> Oh my god. So the top of the ship's mustard. Um that's what they get they tell Wait, you. Wait, mustard like, or mustard? Mustard. You know, like when they have like they run over all the rules with you. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the ship's mustard. Is that space mustard? Apparently. Pardon me, do you have any space gray poupon? You have any gray <laughs> yeah, gray poupon. Okay, um gray tauntaun. Do you have a gray tauntaun? Oh my god, yeah. And then it's got like a little dispenser, it looks like a tauntaun. You just like Push its head and it comes out of its belly like its innards. Oh yeah, great taunt. No, out of its rear would be more fun. Great tauntaun. Oh, anyway, God. Um, what are you feeding them? Tip yip. So <laughs> they talked to us about how they were going to engage in the story with their data pads and their plans to, uh, on how to smuggle items off the tube the next day, as well as people in need of avoiding contact with the authorities. Our missions continue the rest. Of the <laughs> Wait, at Disney, you have to avoid contact with the authorities. <laughs> Oh my god. Here's how you smuggle children out of Batu and now you avoid contact with the authorities. Oh my god. Um, the oh my god. The continue for the rest of the afternoon and evening through bridge training. We learned how to operate the ship and lightsaber training and the history of the weapon that they just probably made up um like three months ago. Again, this does not look Star Wars. This is a cafeteria. At all. No, that looks like that looks like a Comic Con or something. Kinda. That does not look like Star Wars at all. Most of, okay, wait, 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 wait. So this is what's weird to me. She was just happened to go with her family, right? And had nothing to do with being set up. Why are the pictures like, like there's the- just, Staged? Yeah, like cast members are working, there's hardly anybody else there. Because, well, either she went in early, which she may have, have done. Uh, I do know, again, having been on Disney's approved media list, that a lot of times you'll have somebody with you who will take you into places that are not open yet where you can get good pictures uh, so you give people, I guess, a false impression of what they're actually going to get. Yeah. Like, look how beautiful, clean, and empty this park is before the public comes in and ruins it. Yes, yes. So here, most dishes were molecular gastronomy take on Asian flavor. So here's what? like these. These look nasty. These look like little pumpkins. These look like no, bad Halloween decorations. No, it's the it's the Pandora stuff. Yeah, they it's just, the bow buns. From the Pandora. bow bun. Yeah, and I'm sorry. It's it. Th this looks. I guess all space food looks the same, but it looks just like the Avatar food. But So, oh my God, are they going to do that? Is Disney going to do that to keep the theming? Be like, well, Pandora exists in the Star Wars universe. It's all the same. And, and all the Marvel planets, they're in the Star Wars universe. But, just, so here's the comic book where we, because they need to do these comic tie-ins where they're the, going to go to Pandora. The Disney expanded universe, it all takes place together. And then Kingdom Hearts, that happens too, so we can get all the cartoons in there too. It's all part of the Disney multiverse. Probably. Well, they're doing metaverse, so who knows? They're talking about their scrambled eggs before they went to Galaxy's Edge and got their... Okay, this is their VIP treatment. They got un untimed lightning lane passes and priority boarding for smugglers running Rise of the Resistance. Did it work? Well, for that damn price... 
Did yeah. it work? I don't know, because half the time the ride's down. Half the time the ride is down. Um, guests usually have to pay extra for Lightning Lane passes. Buying one for an individual ride can cost $7 to $15. But you paid $6,500. I'm like, you can't compare that. That's your perk? You you saved uh, 21 to 45 bucks. That, um, you, you saved a hundred dollars for two rides. That's not even a drink. The drinks are like fifteen to twenty bucks on right, this thing. Right, right. Like, so you saved, you saved, a drink. you know, and that's your perk after you paid sixty, almost sixty six hundred dollars. That's why I said when you get to Disney, money doesn't mean as much as it does in the real world because you are so brainwashed with the the prices being high that you're like, yeah, five dollars for a sixteen ounce bottle of of Coke sounds like a really good deal. Well, yeah. yeah, I know, right? Yes. And they're like a little thermal detonator size. Here yeah. we go. Um, Ogo's Cantina. They went to Ogo's Cantina and Droid Depot. Um, you know, and then they got to do onboard activities and blah, 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 blah. Taste, taste around the galaxy. Taste the blue shrimp. I, I'm sorry. That's just, it looks disgusting. I don't care if it tastes good. I couldn't even swallow that. I was just thinking this the snack that smiles back, goldfish. They could have been like the blue shrimp could be the the, the snack that, that eats you back. Yeah, maybe because I'm telling you what, when something looks like that, it's don't eat it. Um, it looks like oh, rotten gray. Overall, shrimp. our stay on the Galactic Star Cruiser was well worth it. Um, it was an expensive stay, but the attention to detail made it seem like we were living in the Star Wars universe, Disney's Star Wars universe, not actual Star Wars. No, Star and preferred access and gourmet gourmet food. <sighs> We're glad we booked our stay and may even consider a return trip. Please go back more than once. Do they have any boop, comments? Boop, boop, Do they have boop, boop, comments boop. Turned yeah, I'm turned off. Um, so that's going on. But <laughs> <laughs> so when you went out and found some other things, well, first of all, before we go into the other stuff, here are some of the comments that was on that board uh, in regards to this that I got. Hell no. We had a good time, but I would not do it again. I'd rather go on our actual cruise in the Star Cruiser. No, thanks. On articles like this, I think the family should include their annual salary because they probably make a lot of money. Uh, they but with this article, they were given some really good benefits. No way. Um, someone's like it's worth every penny, and then someone's like it's the same experience every time you go. It's not worth the cost. Memes about like yeah, right, roll eyes rolling, absolutely not that kind of stuff. People. The, the, these are the annual pass holders, the people that are like they're counting on, and they're like, "Fuck that." So sixty five sixty five hundred dollars is more than the average middle class family probably takes home in a month. Well, around here, that's like three months. Yeah, I mean, Western Pennsylvania is not exactly the the wealthiest uh, area, but it's two to three months of salary. Yeah, I mean that's that's insane. I mean, I'm that's like, just absolutely insane. You could buy a, a really good engagement ring for your fiance, you or you could, or you could just go to the, you know, you could you could pay your your you know big hunk of your mortgage. You could buy part, you know, a third of a car. I'm saying, I'm saying you're like, oh my god, we made such beautiful memories in that two day trip, and then uh, you know the next month. It's a good thing we did because the next month we were evicted from our our <laughs> house uh, because we couldn't pay the mortgage. Um, but you know, at least we have those memories of right. of the Galactic Star Cruiser. And they push it that you come down and you go on to the parks afterwards. And you know, you have to fly down. A lot of people have to fly. Yeah, so you're talking gas is through the roof. You have to drive. So you're talking your sixty five hundred dollar experience is probably part of a ten twelve thousand dollar package. Yeah. I mean, but again, this is this is what Disney wants. This is the audience that Disney wants. They don't want your, you know, peanut butter and jelly eating, driving your car ass anymore. That's what it used to be. It used to be that, you know, everybody would drive down I-4 from all over the East Coast, drive down to Disney World. You'd bring your picnic lunch or whatever, and you'd hang out at Disney World, go to the campsite. That Yeah, that those days were over. Well, they still have the campsite. Yeah, but it costs a lot more. Oh, well, I'm sure it does. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like... Those days are over. This is Disney World is a luxury resort that's uh, uh, getting heavier and heavier into activism. <laughs> yeah, know? pretty much. It's like, so if you want to spend sixty five hundred dollars to be preached at, and, but good uh, news, your money news. can go fund activism, activism causes. There you go, guys. Why don't you just give your money to to charity or something, and it would go Cut to out better the use. middleman. <laughs> so, but yeah, so let's talk about let's talk about the uh, articles where guests were embarrassed. Oh, you want to talk this first? Okay, I'll talk ahead. about this since we just talked about campsites. Th this actually came. So we've got like three articles from Inside the Magic. Now, disclaimer: 
I don't like Inside the Magic. We, we call them Inside the Tragic. We have a bit of a history. I'm not going to go into detail, but I personally do not like them or the people that run it, right? Um, however, they've been getting very, very spicy lately. Which we got, you know, stuff taken away from us for doing less. Because of them, partially, I believe, we had stuff yanked from us because of being too negative, but now they are 10 times more negative than we have ever been. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they still get media access. And they still get media access. Go figure. Anyway, if they put this article up that you can go here instead of of uh, uh, Galaxy's Edge and the Star Cruiser go to this R2-D2 campsite. Yeah, I mean, let's be fair, though. It's like his test. I mean, it's tents. To a, you know, I mean, you probably have more room in the tents than you do the hotel room, they but still. They did tents. They did tents in Tomorrowland, and they charged you like $700 oh, yeah, a did. day. Yeah, they had tents that you could rent for the day to keep your stuff in, and they had drinks and stuff in, and they were air-conditioned if you yeah. wanted to go hang out. And yeah, they charged you like $700 a day. And they wondered why it didn't work. Oh, uh, they'll, they'll start doing this. You watch. They'll start doing something stupid oh, like yeah, this. Uh, and... Yeah, Fort Wilderness, you can get the R2-D2 campsite. Yeah, they'll do the R2-D2 camp. Well, no, they'll just build an Ewok village. They'll knock down okay. Fort Wilderness and build an Ewok All right. village. You know what, though? If they did an Ewok village, I would probably pay for it. Then you could get the uh, the tip yip yub nub special. I'm telling you, if they they literally made an effing Ewok village, which by the way, you can see the Ewok village in the line for uh, Star Tours. Yes. If they made an, an Ewok village, or if they made like an, an at, at Walker you could sleep in, I would fucking pay it. I'm sorry, I would pay the six thousand for that. But here's the thing: if they made all this classic Star Wars, people probably would pay it. Yeah, if they did, yeah, people would. That That's why people are so disappointed in Galaxy's Edge. You're like, you know, if it was like Harry Potter, where you're literally walking into the movies you know and love, mm -hmm. that's totally different than here's something that's kind of sort of a spinoff of Star Wars, but not quite. It's like knockoff Spaceland. The Hoth know? rooms, like do the Hoth rooms, just turn the air conditioner up really high. Oh, you're not allowed to do that anymore because it costs money. Yeah, but I'm just like, you know, <laughs> get the whole experience of freezing your ass off in a Hoth room. That would be... They could, they could charge a couple thousand bucks to sleep in a in a tauntaun. People would pay it. Oh my god, you could even you could even like inject some smell. They could use some of that skunk smell from Figment. I just like if you know what. Wow, what do you smell like? You smell like tauntaun. Oh my god, wait, I can buy that smell as a take perfume? it home. Yeah, I can take it home. I put it as a candle in my house. No, but like I would totally tauntaun crotch. Candles. I would totally put. I would totally if there was an Ewok village. I would. I would pay it. I would want to sleep in the effing Ewok Village treehouse, and I would do it. You had to go there, because now I'm like, damn it, I would pay for that. So anyway, Inside the Magic, which isn't as magical as it used to be, and I'm I'm loving that. I'm loving it. Again, given given our experience. Inside uh, the Tragic. Inside the Tragic, that um, you know, we were too negative, and now all of a sudden they're, they're giving us a run for our money. Oh, uh, they're, they're worse than we are. They are a hundred, hundred times, times worse. A hundred times worse than, than we are. Um, anyway. Guests embarrassed after cast members yell at them for joke on Disney Star Cruiser. They were handing out business cards. It's a kind of funny. They tell you to come in and have your own character ready and your own backstory. So this Jennifer said, and my backstory is that I won the trip as top seller of Galactic Oils, hoping to recruit some guests and employees to be part of my downline. Flippin' hilarious. Okay, that's funny as heck. And then Len Testa... Yeah, Lentessa. set up this like backstory that he was the last employee of an aging galactic hollow video rental store. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's flipping hilarious. I think it's hilarious, but they did not find it no. hilarious. They thought it was soliciting, even though it was a joke. It wasn't a real company, but I mean, it is like you go anywhere and people are like, "Oh my god, here's my card. Join my multi-level marketing thing." Cast yeah. members did not think it was funny. Uh, they approached the guest room later that day, informing the guests that they were what they were doing was not allowed. Uh, well, as a joke, I passed these out to a couple of crew members and they wanted to leave their day job and two CMs came to my room too, came to my room and told me this is not allowed and considered soliciting, even if it's a joke, lesson learned. I'm really embarrassed. $6,500 to be really embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. It's freaking legendary. I think it's hilarious. It made my entire day. Full-time pay for part-time work. I'd totally join your team. Two, yeah. Uh, two cast members. Those rooms are tiny. So them being in the, the room would take up a lot of the room to be very intimidating. Two cast members. Like, I'm not even one. What do they think I'm going to do? I'm like, I'm so sorry it was a joke and not real. Part of my backstory, I won't do it. So what's going to happen is... <laughs> you're never allowed to come back here. You're banned forever. I wonder if it was that uh, uh, Dillweed that was 
jumping on you on Instagram. Oh, as was well. that Lieutenant Croy or whatever? Croy, his name? yeah, he was he was uh, he was getting getting on you in the uh, Instagram comments. Right, like, I made a joke about it was like you're not allowed to joke. It was Han and and Finn, and it was the thing where he's like you know, they're like talking about it being the price, and he's like you know hell no and it was a joke and he had a shit fit and that was when it opened like right like opening day he's like well, yeah. have you been clearly not because it just opened <laughs> like, clearly not because there's no way in hell I'd i would pay that, that. much yes. yeah I, I don't care i mean unless it was a tree house for me it was ewoks village you know then i i would yeah no. i tell you what I'd, I'd sleep in hoth too if i could ride tauntauns and hug a wampa i would totally do if it you could hug a wampa i would tell i love wampas and tauntauns like i love them Makes and them, I would hug them almost as much as Ewoks. I'd hug. I want to hug Ewoks. They would hug you back too, and then probably break your neck. Which one, Wampas? Yeah. Well, or just Ewoks. Disney in general. Ewoks are, are are savage little assholes. I love them. They are. They're so cute. They're I, just, I want to hug them. Star Wars honey badgers. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I love it. I I'd, I'd be all about that. So so sixty five hundred dollars to get to get yelled at by Disney cast members I mean, for it, a joke. It was, you know, they do most things about solicitation, but it's clearly, it's clearly not real. It's clearly it's not real. It's a joke. Real. So make your own backstory and make sure you make your own character and live your own Star Wars adventure as long as it's within our guidelines. Yo, know, uh, make sure that you <laughs> make sure that you uh, uh, get dressed up for the part, but but there are certain costumes not allowed in Batu, and also you can't wield your lightsaber in Batu because you know. I get that one i because you know what as a parent and a teacher i get i can foresee all kinds of issues i've been in stores where kids get whole fake lightsabers they're swinging around knocking crap off the shelves hitting people i mean and honestly it'd be the adults that were whacking each other probably well then why don't we just build star wars island somewhere in the caribbean and you can take your you know disney cruise to the star wars island Wouldn't and you, you can like use to go to star wars star wars island and we'll get some some actual um, furry short people to play real Ewoks. You can hug a little Wampa and some Ewoks too. And yeah, we'll go. You know, we'll we'll make it like real Star Wars. We'll have lasers and guns. You don't have to see Ray on Star Wars Island. You can void <laughs> Kylo Ren and Toto too. I don't know. They just make it, make it like, uh, make it like the most dangerous game. It's like whoever gets off a of Star Wars island. Call it Yavin. Yavin. <laughs> yeah, whoever gets off alive. Congratulations, you won. Uh, you get, you get uh, uh, some free blue milk when we get back to Florida. Yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. For no, it really wouldn't be probably illegal. Anyway, anyway, uh, Star Wars fans break silence on meaningless galactic this is Star. A long Wars. video. It is because I I'm loving I'm loving that these outlets that I'm were just saying it's the McDonald's I'm loving it do 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 screw Disney what are people <laughs> mad about this time hold on everything I'm to find what's going on okay so like talk about social media is this back when it first came out no this is recent this is just yeah within the last couple of weeks he's one of the first commenters sharing sharing his thoughts about the high price of the two night stay. Go ahead. You can read them. It looks so basic. I haven't read anything about the hotel because I don't care. <laughs> yeah. And this is this we is. We like to laugh at it. Again, this is inside the magic, which has media access, which has had which, media access. And their for travel years. partner all got to go. And they all got to go. They got a free trip. This isn't going to help them sell trips. It's not going to help you sell trips. Be mm -hmm. more magical. I used to get my ass chewed out if I said anything that could even be misconstrued as somewhat negative. Uh, WDW News Today gets their ass chewed out if they say anything remotely critical about the company. They get their ass chewed up when they say anything, pretty much. And a lot of the stuff they say ends up coming to pass, which is funny to me. But Inside the Magic, Inside the Magic can put out multiple articles talking about how shitty the Galactic Star Cruiser is and how shitty the people are being treated. And, and how that, shitty Disney is. And how shitty Disney is. And there are a ton of articles out there. And that's totally fine. Not saying they shouldn't be allowed to do that. I, no, the, we did it first. Yeah, there, <laughs> yeah we did. Um, their they blog. Are a lot worse. They can do whatever they want to do. I'm just saying it, it is very uh, odd that Disney still allows them to have, have access. Oh, there are some good ideas here. Someone said every floor should have had a specific theme. Yes. And rooms look accordingly. One floor could have been the Corellian frigate theme, uh, one yeah. of Millennium Falcon, Star Destroyer, and so on. They could have had planet themes like Cor Coruscant, Tatooine, Kashyyyk, etc. Um, yes, they could have. 
But they didn't. Yeah, because that'd be cool if you could like actually travel between plants. Like we've got this this compound, and oh, get in the space pod, and we're gonna you know shoot you down the tattoo. They won't because you know, they want you to go to Batu and spend a shit ton of money to yeah. buy stuff. Then this other person said that those the cast members. He said that they were it was good, but it looked like it was designed by non Star Wars fans. Star Trek fans. Exactly. I'd say that or yeah. Battlestar Galactica or anything like that. It's just not Star Wars. Um, it's, look, your negative talk summoned the rains. Yeah, it's raining here. If you hear rain in the background, it is storming outside. It was a Even dark. God hates the Star Cruiser. God hates Disney's Star Wars. And so is this guy. This is funny. Uh, I agree. This is coming from, I believe, uh, Reddit. Uh, I agree. The experience itself looks great, and I would possibly be stupid enough to find a way to spend that kind of money if it were recognizably yes. based on Star Wars. I don't care about the rest of the new story elements they've written. I don't care for seeing the main characters, but if the story immersed you in the Clone Wars or the Galactic Civil War, I'd have serious FOMO about it. Uh, putting it into the Disney trilogy year renders it completely meaningless. That is it. A lot yep. of people, you know, we've talked about, you know, selective canon, and a lot of people are basically like, Disney Star Wars is not canon to me. It's, it's the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy and Clone Wars, and that's it. The timing of Gal Galaxy's Edge and the Galactic Star Cruiser in the Star Wars canon is a common complaint from longtime fans who have not enjoyed Disney's divisive trio of films. Wow. Well, I could be wrong, but weren't they one of the sites that were like calling people out before? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so, yeah. I just um, think it's funny because now, now it's fashionable. Now it's fashionable. You don't have to read more. People get the idea. This is a long video. It is. We're going to wrap this up. But Please I, do. I just think it's funny that they're going into overdrive trying to do damage control. So remember, you are not allowed to have a... Wait, you're supposed to have your own Star Wars adventure and make your own character. But you're not allowed to make your own character unless it complies with the whole bunch of guidelines they say you have to comply with. And you can't wear your costumes into the actual Star Wars place. Other no. than the hotel. No. But you can pay 60 bucks or whatever it is to have your face painted. On that, top of the five to $6,000 right, you something already. you could do yourself because most of those looks are something that you could easily do yourself. Holy shit. What a dumpster fire. Mm -hmm. But I, that's okay. They think it's amazing and they're allowed to think that. This thing is going to be dinner theater within a year or two. I, just, I guarantee it. I just find the timing of this article, it's months after. Mm -hmm. Why are they running it now mm -hmm. when their bookings are down and mm -hmm. they're trying to do whatever they can, including face painting, to try to get people interested? Yeah. And now they're running this article months later. It's just, you know, timing makes me go, hmm. Yeah, I think it's we're getting close. Well, actually, the second quarter, I think, is wrapped up. Uh, Disney's going to have their results pretty soon. And you can usually see the stuff they start pushing or the stuff they start freaking out about internally. That means they already have the numbers in for that quarter. It's not what they wanted. So they're mm -hmm. going to push people. Like if they start pushing them to a particular park or a particular resort. Oh, I it means, wonder why. Yeah. You know, I mean. Yeah. And people are going to ask them questions. They have a lot of questions and they're not going to say, hey, people don't want to do this because it was a really fucking stupid idea to charge this much for that kind of experience and not even have it based on recognizable Star Wars, mm -hmm. they're not gonna say that. They're gonna be like, well, you know, the inflation and the pandemic and the, mm, just the, the spend is down. If you do the damn Ewok Village, I better get a media access invite for that. I'm just saying, Disney. Or else. Yub nub your ass. Well, that that's extra. <laughs> Yeah, that's extra. That's a special menu. That's a secret menu. Okay. Yeah, I, I want a little uh, uh, massage from Ewoks with a uh, nub your ass at the they end. They can walk on your back. They could. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. <laughs> Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax.
you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. Or is it bootleg? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run and carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>